coming to you from a place of abundance. Talking about energy today. It came up in the group last week. We were talking about healing. When you're born, you have an energy bank account. You have a savings account, which is really deep reserves. You're born with a pretty deep reserve of energy. And then you have your checking account, which is where you take energy in through your food, your sleep, interactions, and then you expend it in the various things you do. As we go through life, we oftentimes write bigger checks than what we have coming in. And then you draw down on that energy reserve, that savings account, to help cover the checks going out. In an ideal world, you once the crisis is passed or whatever it is that you are doing, then you fill up your reserve again. And so you always have a nice savings account. However, if we haven't been trained in how to take care of ourselves, you don't always replace that savings account. You just keep on trucking, doing what you can do. Just like with our saving, our bank accounts, sometimes we deplete our savings, we go down on it a bit, and it's hard to catch back up. Your energy bank account is the same. What things cause us to do that? Injuries. Healing takes a lot of energy and time. For women, it's having babies. That's a healing thing, and it takes a huge amount of energy, and it's hard to build that reserve back up. There's a lot of things. Being being a teenager, I like to burn the candle at both ends and go, go, go. And they don't always replace all of that energy. They sometimes need a little coaching to know you got to slow down. So we do things as we go through life. Uh, it could be physical. It can be mental and emotional. Sometimes you have things that really are hard emotionally. Losing people, grief betrayals, stressors like COVID, they can draw down your emotional energy. And that requires you to dip into that savings account a little bit. Or it may even be where you're a zero net because everything that's coming in is going back out the other side to deal with what's going on. It's how life is. What helps build that account back up? There's a few things that you can do so that you can recover that energy. It has to do with making careful choices about how you live, living intentionally, negligent choices. Not doing what you know you need to do is one way that we draw down. Respecting your senses. Your senses are what tell you what you need to do, right? Your stomach's a little off. Oh, I ate too much sugar. Drank a little too much. Had too much caffeine today. Um, that's too loud. It hurts your ears. These are the senses that help you understand what you need to do. So by respecting them, you can protect that energy account. Uh, living in rhythm. Paying attention to when you need to do what. Taking good care of yourself. These are the things that build that back up. And that's part of what I'm all about, is teaching you ways that you can take care of yourself and coaching you through that so that you can have a solid energy bank account. Um, so... That's the thought for today. Taking time, allowing yourself to build that account back up. If you've ever been in a situation where your expenditures were greater than your income and you had to draw down on your savings, you know that if you do that for long enough, eventually you'll deplete those savings. It takes yeah. a long time to build that savings account back up because you, as you have income coming in, the expenditures are still going out. You still have to live. Your energy operates just exactly the same. As you pay attention to your senses, you take good care of yourself, even in the midst of what's going on, you're increasing your income streams. 
when you have things that draw down on your savings account and you need to build that back up, you need to cut down on your expenditures, just like with your bank account. So when you are in a healing time or you've had a big major event, allow yourself the time and space to rebuild that account. Healing takes a lot of time and energy. No matter what it is that you are healing from, so feel free to give yourself that time. It's okay to slow down a little bit, to pull back a little bit, to really focus on getting that income up to the level that will support the expenditures and putting some into your savings account so that you have that account there when you need it because that's how life works. You're given that account because God knew that there's things that are going to happen that require extra energy, extra reserves. And then you can back down and allow yourself to heal. Sometimes it's quick. If it's a small thing, sometimes things happen that are big and it takes time. It takes a lot of self-care. And it's all right to do that because you won't have the ability to expend again if you don't take the time to rebuild your accounts. So give yourself grace, give, you, give yourself time and space because you need that. You can't, uh, when you go broke with your energy savings account, what does that look like? It looks like a lot of the chronic diseases we deal with. My thyroid is one of them. Went broke. It takes a long time to rebuild and I have to constantly take care of my income streams in order to keep it going. Um, things like fibromyalgia, all the autoimmune things that we are dealing with in this day and age, a lot of the overwhelm, anxiety, stress, people are so stressed out. Correlate that with all of then the ways we self-medicate that don't really build the income stream but they help you think that you're padding your account. It's where we are, where we live. So I encourage you to take some time this week to build your income streams of energy. Um, let me know if you need some ideas on how to do that. I would love to know what you guys want to hear about in March as far as what you can do, how I can help you learn how to build yourself up a little bit better. So take care of yourself. You are precious and wonderful and you are strong and resilient. Have a great and abundant day.